all praises to our Father. Amen. Coming to you this morning from 1 Corinthians 15 chapter. It's a familiar verse that we've all heard, we've read, probably studied. Amen. Starting at the 50th verse. And it reads as follows. Now this I say, brother, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Yeah. Behold, I show you a mystery. Yeah. We should not all sleep. Yeah. We shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, yeah. at the last trump. My God. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. But this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal was put on immortality. My Lord, my Lord. So when this corruptible shall be put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall we be brought to pass the saying that this is written. Uh -huh. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh yes! Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh, death. oh grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength yes. of the sin is law. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Which has given us the victory throughout through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brother, my, 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 be ye steadfast. Yes, Lord. Unmovable. My God. Always abounding in the work of the oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, For yes. as much as you know that your labor is not in vain oh, in the yes. Lord. That's right. I read to you from 1 Corinthians 15, chapter verses 50 through. 58 first, may God have the rest of the earth's readings and doers of his holy mighty word. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bow in your prayer. Holy God, this morning we come and speak to us humble as we know how. God, first of all, we just want to say thank you. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for us, oh dear God. Thank you, Jesus, for giving up your life, oh dear God. For us, my Father. Even though, my Father, you never did anything wrong. But my Father, you knew, my Father, that we needed a way back to God. So Jesus, you came and you died. Oh, dear God, not only did you die, my Father, but you rose, oh, dear God, yes, yes. on Resurrection Day, my Father. Thank you for rising, oh, dear God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, dear God, for getting us out of the grave, oh, dear God, and declaring that you have all power yes, in all heaven power. and in earth in your hands. Thank you for the love that you showed us, oh, dear God. Thank you, dear God, for the mercy, oh, dear God. God, we love you and we appreciate you, dear God. And I know sometimes we don't say thank you enough. But today we want to say thank you, dear God, for the things that you've done in our life. Thank you, dear God, for helping our bodies. Thank you, dear God, because you've shown us that you love us. You didn't just tell us that you love us. You showed us that you love us, oh, dear God. So, my Father, give us a mind to want to love you back. And the way that we can love you is by doing what you've asked us to do. Oh, God, by just being good to our fellow man, doing what is right, my Father, doing what is good, and doing what is just. Oh, God, we just want to say thank you for those that have come out today. Oh, God, we ask a special anointing and a special blessing upon our first lady. Oh, God, Sister Patterson, you brought her from a long way, oh, God. You brought her here today, oh, God. And my Father, she is an example of your God that you still in the hill of Jesus, oh, God. I just want to say thank you, dear God, for the grace and thank you, dear God, for mercy. Dear God, you healed it and you brought it back. Not only her, but there were so many, oh dear God. So many, oh dear God. Oh dear God, some of them were even on a deathbed, oh dear God. But you pulled them through, oh dear God. And you gave them another chance, oh dear God. We just want to say thank you. God, you've been so good, you've been so kind. If we had a thousand times, we'd better say thank you. As much as I want you to really deserve. But if God, thank you, God. Bless our pastor. Give him strength. Encourage his heart, oh dear God. God, you know what he's going through. Oh dear God, deal with him, oh dear God. Give him strength. Build him up, oh dear God. Oh dear God, touch his heart, his mind, and his spirit. Bless him, oh dear God, right now, oh dear God. You know the things that he's going through, my Father. So we ask that in the name of Jesus. Because there's something about that name, oh dear God. There's still healing in that name. There's still deliverance in that name, oh dear God. But oh dear God, in that name, my Father, all the demons, they just tremble, oh dear God. And my Father, we know that one day, God, one day we won't have to cry no more. One day is going to be over with, my Father, on this side of the Jordan River. 
I know that my dad's gonna be standing on the beds, but he cannot pull me through. My mother, she cannot pull me through. Jesus, you're the only one that can pull us through those many waters. I'm sure they will. But if we just have one more river to cross, just one more river to cross with you, God. Because this is not our home. This is not our home, my father. We're strangers, my father, in this land. But one day, my father, we'll be in a land, my father. We will never grow old. We'll be in a home with your God that was not made by the hands of man. That home will never decay with your God. We're looking forward to that place. But your God, for these and other blessings we ask in our son, Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for sharing your glory. Thank you, Jesus, for staying on the cross. We know that you had all power. You could have come down. But your father asked you to do this. And you did it because of the love that you have for us. But it after these and other blessings we ask in our son Jesus' name. We thank you, God. Amen. Let's give God a praise. He deserves a praise.
the right score <laughs> needs to come into your life. Right, everybody, just call me in. When the doctor come in and tell you, give you a bad report. And he said, Lord, I got it now. The pastor was, why he was spitting and crying and, 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 and his sweat so Because living, he loved us. My God, he loved us so much that he was willing to die. I'm not preaching right now, but I could go right here.
us in spite of our sin, in spite of our wrongdoing. Amen? Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Listen, I want you to know, no matter what the enemy tries to do, how he tries to 
to fool you and trick you. Guess what? God is yet with you and is more in the world against you. The Lord is your light and sound with your salvation. You shall not fear nothing. He is the strength of your life. He is your hiding place. He is your refuge in the time of storm. He wants you to know just that I was that he got you. He wants you to trust him when you can't trust nobody else. When nobody Even the White House, God, all the way down, God, to state houses, God, even to my house. 
God, we pray your protection over your people. God, we call upon your name, God, because if it had not been for you on our side, Lord, where would we be? We thank you, oh God, for mothers, oh God, yet, oh God, who are yet with us, mothers to be, oh God, young mothers, oh God, experienced mothers, oh God, grandmothers, great grandmothers, oh God. We thank you for aunties and aunts, oh God, who yet pray for us, oh God, when we didn't, couldn't pray for ourselves, we didn't know to pray for ourselves. God, we pray for this senseless violence that's happening in and around our community, oh God, where there's more gunfire, more guns on the street, a full word in Tarrant County and Dallas County than there is legally, God. We pray your protection, God, of our young people. We pray for the issue of mental health, God, in our community, that you would help our young people, help our middle age, help our season saints, oh God, to make sure they maintain proper mental health. Help us, oh God, as a church, oh God, to be a help, oh God, to those who are yet going through. God, we invite your presence, your preeminence in this house on today, oh God. Let your spirit have free and free to let God fall fresh on us today. Fill this house, oh God, with your, with your blessing, with your power, oh God, with your deliberate power, oh God, even on today. Be with our young people as they minister, oh God, and sing, oh God, and song even on today, oh God, and to our choir, oh God. Be in the word that will be shared with your people even on today. God, will be careful to give you the glory, the honor, and for God, and anything I forgot to ask you for, God, in the name of Jesus, we're asking that you would yet do it, oh God. So we come before you in the name of Jesus, ask you to meet every need according to your riches and glory. God, will be careful to give you the glory, the honor, the praise. In Jesus' name. Come on, say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. To God be the glory. Amen.
Jesus is telling you, take all the water in the earth. Amen. It's like young people get ready. Amen. Who are they? How many? Amen. We're walk, walking through the program. Amen. Amen. The word says when you take all the water, God can hold it in the span of his hand. What kind of God is that? What, what, what kind of God can, 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 can sweep stars who hung the moon? And it stays. What kind of God can clap his hands and the thunder rolls? <laughs> what kind of God can, can take that same hand and wipe tears away? What, 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 what kind of God can stand and his people stand before the Red Sea?
better now until we see his salvation. Eternal life. He gave. Thank you. 
hall over there. Amen. The high school. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thank you so much for our guests and our visitors for being with us here on the day. And for church members we haven't seen, amen, this pandemic began. We thank God for, amen, for the pivot back, amen, to worship and give God praise and glory. Amen, during this two and a half years here at Elko Church, we have not ceased having Sunday morning service on Wednesday Bible study in two and a half years. Give the Lord a hand up today, amen. Give the Lord a hand up today, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Luke chapter 24, beginning in verse 1. Know about you, amen? Amen. 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 Said, Hold up. All right. Verse number 1 says, King James Version says, chapter 24 of Luke. Now, from the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and a certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Verse 6, He is not here. Everybody say, He is not here. Come on, say, He is not here. But is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Brief time I want to share with you today good news. From an empty and dark tomb. Amen. Amen. Good news from an empty and dark tomb. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good news. Everybody say good news. Good news. Translation of good news. Amen. The gospel means the good news. The story of Jesus Christ is, means good news. Amen. Before this chapter, before chapter 24, I'm going to share with you on today. Jesus Christ, as we hurry to the end, I'm almost done. Amen. Jesus Christ is betrayed by Peter, by James and John in Gethsemane when Jesus asked them to come and pray with me. Can you not pray with me one hour? Jesus went away three other times, and guess what? They found themselves asleep. Amen. Right. Don't laugh, amen, because when you fall asleep in a minute, everybody look over at you and say, Four 
four different groups of people betray Jesus. Amen. Let's bring something this weekend. And it said that the crowd chose Barabbas, this murderer, not because they liked him, but because they hated the truth. Amen. When we would rather have a lie than the truth, something's wrong with it. Y'all remember January 6th? Y'all know what happened in Washington, D.C. on January 6th? Yeah. Travis? Some people, Travis, say it never happened. Mm -hmm. In 2021, people say January 6th, the insurrection in the Capitol. I'm what, you, what part of the world are you with? They say it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. They would rather believe a lie. And believe the truth. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, don't, don't believe lies. Amen. Let truth have its way. Amen. My blind great grandmother used to always say, right. give the Lord a hand up. Amen. My blind great grandmother used to always say, wrong is wrong. And right is right. And guess what? She didn't have no high school diploma. She didn't have no high school degree. But she was blind physically. But she said, wrong is wrong. Yeah. And right is right. But yet still, here these people would rather take a murderer because they didn't want the truth. Pastor, what was the truth of Israel? They didn't want the truth about who Jesus was to come out. Ricky, they didn't want it. Because they didn't want the word to come out. As they were taking him down. 
have a prayer. They say, we don't have time. Put them in a tomb. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On Good Friday, y'all remember what everybody said? Good Friday. Good Friday. Good Friday was good because that's what Jesus paid the price. Jesus paid it all. Yes, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crucifixion stain. But he washed me whiter than so much. After patiently waiting and grieving through the Sabbath, the women came to the tomb and, 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 and first thing on Sunday morning and before the S-S-O-U-N came, got up, the S-O-N was up and gone, y'all. <laughs> Jesus was gone. They came to take care of the body. They found the body there. The stone had been rolled away. First point, expect good news. Here in verse number one, it said, Now remember the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came to this pope, uh, hoping to see, hoping to see something, hoping to see and take care of the body. They came looking for bad news. But guess what? We have to learn to expect good news. Everybody say good news. We don't expect greater. We don't expect that. I expect to see all the real God. That even in a situation that might look like it bad, there is good news. They knew true worship came from actually honoring and taking care of uh, the body of Jesus. But we have to make sure we always know that even when a situation looks bad, looks dark, that God does his best work Amen. in the dark. Right. In dark times, that even we can yet receive what good news. We can receive good news when it seems like it's a bad news happening all around us. Remember, we have to learn to remember the promises of Jesus. He said, I will arrive. He, he tells them immediately. You will see me again. I am with you. At times you won't think you're going to expect to see bad news. And listen, they better say you ought to be expecting good news. You ought to be expecting something good to come out of your situation. God is good about it. Jesus is good about taking lemons and making lemonade. Jesus is good about taking the pieces of our life where we think things are all messed up and jacked up and what? Making something good out of it. How many of us have been studying for an example? You know you didn't do your best. You, you just prayed for y'all. Remember young people don't run around. You went in there and said, Lord, just be in that test with me because I'm going to go and take this in. Lord, please let them make it. It's that girl over there that's got all of her A's. And Lord, please make it. Please let the professor fall asleep and write an A on top of my paper. How many of y'all done that before? I have that. Oh, y'all ain't never done that before? Keep on. Keep on living. <laughs> Lord, 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 you know I'm riding around and I, I'm on paper. You know I got them tickets. You know I got them tickets. Lord, please don't let Pope Pope have me. Don't let me read my life. Please let him read that six or nine. Lord, let me go by. Oh, I done that one too. Y'all don't live too good as y'all ain't never done that. Y'all ain't never rode dirty. Y'all ain't never rode down. They say you ready to say ouch. Lord, please, please, I know the gas head is on E. Lord, please put some more fruits in here to let me get five miles to that high. Here it is, five o'clock in the afternoon, you still on me. I tell you, it's been bad news. We all always expect good news. Jesus said he would never leave us, no forsake us. He said he'd be with us, he'd stand by our side. We have to learn to trust God, even in our touching situation. To know that even if the situation looks God can yet still show up yeah. and show it. How many of you show it out for you? Amen. When, when you went to the doctor, amen, you went to a job, you went to apply for a job, and you went, when, 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 when did God show up? In your life this year, women, this morning, how many of y'all was available that woke up this morning, started showing your way, and what you didn't woke you up, it was bad. You ain't got the feedback to a year ago. Before two years ago, before the pandemic, Come on, I don't know what the Lord ain't like. I know he's been good. Expecting the second, the second. The angels ask him, but me and them 
in your basket. Wash see ye the living among the dead. Here these angels are asking, there's much of lessons even yet in that question. The stone was not rolled away to let Jesus out, but to let the women in. Amen. See, the, the stone wasn't for Jesus. The, the stone was for the lady. See, sometimes God has to move what stones out of our life. He had to, how many of y'all here to roll away some stones? You don't know some people in your life need to love peace and let them roll away. Love peace and let them roll away out of my life. Jesus, tell him, why look ye for the living amongst the 
dead. This, this is stop looking for live stuff and dead people.
know my friends. But he says, Old. You ain't got to be 
this resurrection is going to be. Yeah. I just have to thank God. Yeah.
seeking living things among dead things. And then, oh God, we ought to always remember that Jesus Christ keeps his word. Just like he said he would return in three days, he showed up. He rose with all power in his hand. Power to heal, power to deliver, power to set free. Lord, we thank you. May God take us from this place but never from our sight. God, help us to encourage our children, God, to know you and the point of their sins. So that they may have relationship, oh God, with you. Help us to be ready and great in the faith. God, take us from this place but never from our sight. And we'll be careful to give you glory, the honor, and the praise. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. And it was that you followed before his throne of grace with exceeding great.